all right guys welcome back it's me ashley today's video is going to be about my hair i ordered from ic hair this is a mongolian kinky curl um it just came today i ordered this last week so it took about maybe five days if not that i'll put it in the description box you know exactly how long it took inside here it comes with the usual ic package this is their ic package the pink pack this is my second time getting this exact same hair but this time what i got was all 16 16 inch frontal and three 16 inch bundles last time i had got a uh, um 16 inch oh it comes some lashes last time i had got um a 16 inch frontal a 16 18 and 20 um bundles but i felt like it was too long and i had to cut it i still have that wig but this is the frontal these are the bundles 16 i love that length 16 and 16 let's go ahead and open this it comes in this you know you know how they all come then it has just their ic thingy oh and it also came i believe this is their care card yeah care card it shows you instructions on how to take it brushing wash and air dry daily this is cute um the hair is pretty it feels good but you know like i always say you won't really know how good of a quality your hair is until you wash it this is how much hair is actually on the bundle itself each of them look pretty much the same um this is the hair this is the ends not bad but we'll see how it washes and what it looks like after that all right guys so i'm just going to show another bundle like i said i got them all the same i got 16 inches in the three bundles the hair came nice and soft you know how we usually do it didn't have any smell or anything the bundles had uh, you know a good amount of hair so it didn't look too bad comes like this And this is the frontal, you guys. This is the back. This is the front. And this is how the lace looks. I'm not feeling that, but once I bleach it, it'll be good. But that's all right. I like to pluck and make my own um, hairline anyway. But this is the frontal, guys. It does feel and look the exact same as in curl you know curl pattern wise compared to the bundles but we'll see after we wash them this is the frontal before i bleached it i don't believe that this is a beginner friendly frontal at all all right guys this is just the bleaching process i'm not a professional this is only my third time bleaching my frontals I did learn from last time to use three scoops of powder and then add the liquid. I always want to use like the pancake remedy kind of thing. Like I make sure that it's not too thick and too watery. So when I lift up my um, brush that I'm using to stir it, I don't want it to just drop. And I don't want it to be too thick. So I'm just going to show you guys right here what it should look like. All right, guys, so this is the bleach that I'll be using. The next clip here is just showing how I apply it to my lace front. I um, turned the lace closure, excuse me, lace frontal over so I can access the knots. And you don't want to push it in. You just want to kind of glide it over and make sure that you get all the knots from the front to the back. I even took it as far as getting a little bit above the hairline. Guys, this part does not have to be perfect. If you get any bleach on the hair, I just took a rag and I wiped it and it came right off.
it in this front so all i did was bleach it and i got so much hair that came out i got this little patch of hair that you guys will see and then another patch in another clip i didn't pluck it or anything all i did was bleach it now we'll get to the plucking I just took the front of the hairline and pushed it away so I can access the back I'm going to show you this side that I did do and the other side I didn't pluck yet you'll see a big difference once I finish with that I pull all the hair back and I start plucking from there right from the baby hairs and everything It's washed the curls are still there of course they loosen up a little bit but the ends are so very nice it has like them pretty coils all right guys so this is how I did the quote unquote tint I did use the adore coloring dye I used it in honey brown and I took a pot of boiling water poured it in a sink used about four to five drops of the honey brown adore dye mix it up with a little wooden stick and then I place the frontal in the water and let it sit for a few seconds. I did it twice. So this is just the first go around and then I'll show you guys how the frontal came out looking the first attempt and the second attempt. So this is why I said quote unquote tense. I'm not going to say I didn't like the way it came out the second time, but I think using that color to tint the lace is more for someone who's going to do the whole meltdown method with the stocking cap under it. But for me, I wanted to make this wig, um, you know, one that I can take on and off. So I went and just did what I know. You stick to what you know. So I took my foundation, I showed you guys what foundation I'm using, it matches my skin tone, and I placed it over the lace front. Once I did that, I sprayed it with the um, Got To Be Glue Spritz, and I dried it completely. And this is how it came out. That's why you see this is so long, but it did pretty good. 
I tweezed, I went ahead and um, tweezed the part and fixed that up. But not too bad, not too bad. I might, I, th I think I might glue it down. This is how long it's coming. Like I said, this is a 16 inch frontal with with the three um, 16 inch bundles. 